Planes operating at box 461, address E9 4 Metropolitan Avenue, Orby Avenue to Cooper Avenue, fire and order parts. Sir. All right, guys, this is a second alarm fire in an uh, auto parts store of some kind. They had a uh, three line stretch, three lines in operation, and a, a tower ladder. Two tower ladders in operation. They just set up the second one. They're in the process of setting up a third one. We have heavy fire throughout. Rich Damien. All right, they got the a collapse a collapse zone established here, so we can't go nowhere near that. We're gonna yeah, one film from one here. One, got water in the rig. There's a uh, 164 watt water now. Uh, they're putting the third tower ladder up over there. I'm waiting for you to send it, though. Okay, it's coming now. It would be a little hard to see because they're hitting heavy pockets of fire right now. They got the three tower ladders up. They just put this one in operation. 287, so far to 111. So they're going to have four tower ladders operating now. Yeah, 10 4 Exterior's operations, it went to that very quickly. Uh, when they transmitted the second alarm, I still think it's still at a second alarm. Okay. Yeah, retract your, your ladder a little bit and come down to our street bottle and hit the, uh, knock down the store. One, six, four, bucket, ten, four. Let's see, you go, go away that you have those uh, electric wires below you. We're going to have a lot of moving around. One three six to Shelba. One six four to one six four bucket. One eleven bucket. One eleven Shelba. Shelba, you got the one six four to one two four bucket. One want to have them shut down before we uh, pass through these lines. Yeah, 10-4. 1-6-4, move your deck gun. You're pushing on the power, that's the thing that's going to collapse. 1-6-4 to 1-6-4 bucket. 
They want the, uh, this tower ladder to come down to ground level and hit it from down here. Another smoky fire. Didn't get any sleep from last night's fifth alarm. They're putting a lot of water on it, so it's going to be very smoky. Engine 305. Where are you operating, Kevin? Where are you operating? Engine 905. Italian 51135, bucket. 135, bucket. Just watch coming over this wheel. You got 111 operating uh, just above the roof line here. Like from the uh, color of the smoke they're hitting is pretty good. Uh, one, two. Still uh, four tower ladders. They put the multiversal, but they haven't set it up yet. Com is going to probably do a report. I've been missing the reports because there's been so many <clears throat> angles to go find and stuff like that on several of the other fires.
ahead and check. Yeah, Lou, I got a... Uh, gonna shut up for 305 to supply the multiverse. 10-4. All right, I'm gonna bounce around. Like I said, um, they got one another multiversal back here. The one in the front is set up, but not operational. <clears throat> this one's operational. And the, um, it looks like they lowered the, they lowered the tower ladder. So it looks like they got three tower ladders in operation right now. Somebody told me they had some pockets of fire flaring through the roof early on. <clears throat> Once they get tower ladders on these fires, it's a... Uh... Much easier to contain the fire. Oh, there's the other tower ladder over there. It's very, very low. They're gonna transmit a third alarm. Okay. All right, Phil Collins, do you want a, a uh, full third? Because you are already two trucks above. Yeah, we can get a full third, and uh, you can hold up the air retouch. All right, ten four. And uh, go ahead. We can follow this report. Okay. So this time we have four tower ladder set up in operation. Two multiversals set up in operation. Fire is darkening down. Getting a thousand. The 10th floor field comp, that report was 0731 hours, the duration is now 1 hour and 25 minutes. An hour and 25 minutes, and uh, I think we got here within an hour of it because it... All units in the bowl, clean standby for a mixer off message. Uh, they want a mixer off uh, message. Go in mixer off. They're doing a mixer off message. I mean, there's something's not kosher here. Something's not right. And also, they're going to do the third, a full third alarm, even though they have two trucks above right, the second alarm. That concludes the mixer off message in the bar of Queens. Time is 731 hours. I think they're all in the same place for box. 
somewhere. Uh, I, I couldn't find one yet, so we'll see. A lot of smoke. Uh, they got a lot of white smoke pushing, which is always good. But they do have a little bit of gray and black coming from the left side here. They have fire in both buildings now. I think it originally started in that building and spread to the smaller building, but I'm not entirely sure about that. into that building there right now it looks like there's a smaller building there <clears throat> all right let me go see over there the third alarm units are not even here yet Yeah, it looks dark and gray, very dark and black smoke. I'll just give you guys a little view from back here. A lot of dark and hey, Tommy, very, very dark and gray smoke back here. I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, this one, this is a small building. It's already in there. Uh, let me go see in the back of one of these buildings here. I came all around these uh, small buildings here, but they're too short uh, to get on. And so there's not gonna be anything really to be able to see. So I'm gonna continue looking around. Uh, if not go back to the front. As you can see, once again, the wind is blowing the smoke this way. I'm probably gonna have to be better off going into the back to the front of the uh, fire building. We got a lot of different color smokes, so we'll see. <clears throat> you can hear the third alarm units coming in the distance. It's a lot of dark gray and black over here and a mixture of white, gray over here and black. As you can see right there in the center of your screen, how heavy the black is right around there. Yes, we're finally on the third alarm for box 4681. Updated staging area. Staging area is gonna be Woodhaven Boulevard and Metro in the Bob's Furniture parking lot, 314. <laughs> Came back to the front so you guys can see the uh, <clears throat> extremely dark smoke. <clears throat> well, you see the light smoke here, but pushing back where I was over there, that's where all the black smoke is.
Move on, Pete. All right, and exterior operations are still going on. They haven't sent anybody inside. Too too dangerous right now. Uh, well, in a minute, you'll have it all. Backside here. Still a lot of smoke pushing. Command for the safety of the time. Safety, go. Way out, right? Right now, I'm on a one-two corner. They're just putting a lot of water on it right now. Ready for water. Safety battalion, just come over to the front. By 142 is ready. You see the sun through the uh, smoke up there. Right there. So it looks pretty much the same all around.
lot of black smoke pushing. See all the black smoke that comes out of there? Dark, dark gray and black. Once the wind stops, They're setting up the, the multiversal. They're going to put it in operation. So that would be four tower ladders, two multiversals, and uh, I don't think they're using the three hand lines, but they have three hand lines stretched and operating. Bring it down. Thank <laughs> you. 
They said that they got uh, a decent amount of fire in the ceiling and the roof area. And uh, when they got here, they tried to get on the uh, the taller por the taller portion, and they had some explosions go off. They decided to go. They decided to go defensive. Two eight six, you guys ready for order? Two eight six, charge the line. I'm gonna let them put this in in operation, then I'm gonna go back to that little garage over there. Go five, go be a couple of loads. Here comes the water. There it goes. So on the short end of the building over here, that's why I keep saying you got a lot of black and gray smoke. It's in the ceiling and roof area. Give us a little small pressure. They might be doing a fourth alarm soon. I don't know. We'll see. Trail five, go for the two eight six. How's pressure? Yeah, ten four. That looks good for now. By the way, it's something like 7.50 in the morning. I don't know. You see how the smoke turns really, really dark when they hit it? It's rolling in the ceiling over there. All right, they're forcing entry in the back. I want to go look. Look at the smoke. Woo. There's nothing showing back here. Oh, they were forcing entry into, uh, looks like the uh, dumpster area. Yeah, we're in a crazy back of the uh, one story. Yeah, 
like, you see with the cameras, a lot of fire behind the windows. We could get a line back here and get some water on the fire from the rear. All right, 10-4, we'll send the line back. They just said that they have a lot of fire in there. I kind of read that about a half an hour ago. And look at these cracks here. Smoke is starting to come out of these cracks. Battalion 3 to safety. Right here. Here and all along there. John, come back to the, uh, on the two side to the, on the three, in the back of the one story. Is that you? Edge of 7-2 to edge of three one nine show for we're ready for water in the two and a half. Yeah, they got heavy fire in there. I mean, I'm not going to go in there. I'm just going to take a peek. Uh, they're looking to get in back here probably to uh, do some operations. They went all the way in the back. One, four, two, bucket to 289. 289, show for all right, guys, so I'm just uh, standing around back here. I think they're going to stretch some lines over there where they cut over that little gate. Italian 5-4, five, four, five, four, four. It's not getting any better, folks. that right in there where I told you guys they would. Field cup. Uh, Queens, if you could put in a, uh, another call to Conrad Electric and see if they can make it a priority response. We have uh, probably an imminent collapse of the building. And then we're going to add a couple levels thanks to this uh, incident we have going on here. I'm going to take it out these power lines. All right, come forward. Five to they got some Chauffeur. imminent collapse. I'm gonna go look around. Ready for water. All right, that whole back wall from up there to the bottom came down while I was going around. Yeah, the single box wall is too uh, standard. It's going inward up at the uh, fire pit level. Just uh, be aware of possible secondary collapse. All right, maybe they can knock Pass it down with the uh, tree. Good morning. Yeah, 
some more of that wall a lot of it came down but now they got heavy heavy fire on the other side chunks of it coming down uh, back there in the back where you see the dark smoke that's where they probably have the heavy fire pushing I'm gonna go take a walk over there shortly I don't think any more of the wall is gonna come down at least not right now uh, maybe a little little pieces Okay guys, give you a little update coming over here, uh, back to this side that I've been bouncing back and forth. The, uh, I just found out some new information. This little building here, right here, this is an old closed daycare center. So it has nothing to do with the auto parts store back there. Uh, but it has issues right now. Uh, and you saw it on the other side that the parapet wall collapsed and they're knocking down cinder block and they have a lot of fire they say in there so this is going to be extended operations uh you saw them stretch you saw them those two lines back here i believe that this is the second line that they're gonna get water to they're operating back there where they cut that little hole through the um, link fence back there. It comes to water. It looks like, I don't know if this is the one that they're talking about. Here comes the water, but. Now they're gonna be doing uh, operations on all angles because it's just not going out the fire. They're bringing in salt. everything to the two sides. 
There goes the water in the line right there. Three one four to battalion three ten four. It's gonna take a minute. We gotta get through our entry three quarter. All right, ten four. All right, they gotta dump that hose to get to the other one. All right, I think they got a two and a half. They're getting ready to bring that line back there. Me to get on, folks. I'm so sorry. Two or six, nine, or two or six. We're gonna shut that one down and reposition to see all that fire that they got up there. Set fire. He said heavy fire too. I'm coming back. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna hang around here because it might spread this way. Uh, they're taking down all those fences so they could get some more lines in there. They're bringing the line in now. That one that they were preparing. Commander 138. 138. Just take a walk up to the uh, command post. Just do yourself. That's wrong, by the way. They still kept it at a third alarm. I'm pretty sure it will or should go to a fourth alarm, at least for relief purposes. Look at the rainbow. Anyway, right here is where all that fire is. But since there's not a structure to get on, I can't uh, film it for you guys. I'm just gonna hang around here anyway, just in case. Safety for battalion B. Okay, straight. Where can I meet you, Dan? Yeah, I need you in the back here to close this straight. And I um, kind of read that smoke for you guys about half an hour, 45 minutes ago. I told you guys I kept seeing a lot of black smoke towards the back end here. It's all black now, and it's in there big time. But we're not going to be able to see. Uh, Check 
right. They're hitting it from all angles now on this corner where they got the tower ladder hitting it. They got the one down below, the multiversal. Everything is concentrated on here. They're charging that line now, that third line. Like, it looks like they're hitting now. Let me wipe the lens. Four six to one six four bucket. One six four bucket. Yeah, you said there's heavy fire throughout the cock walk. Is that all the way to this parking lot? Fire cock block. You got now you have large areas in the bus cock block drop. Is that areas where you see the fire burning through the roof? That's block. All the way to the parking lot. Yeah. All the way over here. Four six to battalion three. So it might pop out. Did you get that report? They're saying there's a part of 164 Park is saying this. There's a park of the roof that's burned through all the way to the parking lot. Okay, we'll get uh, 142 and 217 out of there and we'll get uh, we'll get so defensive. Alright, I just saw one little flicker of flame, but it's back there. The train three to ride one four two? Oh, I'll How's it looking there? You have any camera? Is there any heat? Or is, it, uh, is there any fire in the cockpit you can see? Trying to gain entry. Very, very whacked out fence over there by the dumpster area. I'm looking down at the park authority store. Three, three, uh, Buildings in, fire is coming through the roof. Yeah, actually. The fire coming through the roof, that's the way you're operating. Negative. I don't know where this fire is. I don't know if it's on the other side. They have a, a parking lot back there, too. Uh, between 3 to 217. Look at what they got to do here. They got to cut down barbed wire, tree, do you have any visible fire? tree branches. Two one seven negative, nothing on the camera as well. Just close. Four six to battalion three. Battalion three. Yeah, you put those companies back in that thing. I think we're um there's a miscommunication when they said the parking lot. I, I right now I'm not sure you do have fire in that um daycare center. Keep having guys, have guys having close ceilings. Four six to battalion three. I suggest that we uh 
142 is opening up inside. They got nothing. There's no heat. 217 has no fire visible. Uh, I'd like to get a hole in second hole on the roof if we can. 104. One three at the show, but seven. You can open our line. Give us whatever you got. Two eight seven ten four. One three at the show, but the show. Just bring the rig right over on Metropolitan. I'm looking for a way to set up over here. All right, that's it. Resource unit leader 150. One five oh. All right, one thirty is going to relieve you as the fifth unit. One five oh, ten four. We're set up in the parking lot on the two side. All right, ten four. One three oh. Did you get that? They're set up in the parking lot on the two side right now. Ten four. We'll go there. Ten four. Yeah, I think you're back in. My lord. We're 36 pulling out the way also. We're going to back in. I believe they're putting in a towel ladder in here. Dan, we're backing up uh, now. We're going to cross. Command to uh, 5-0 staging. Command to staging. 5-0 staging. You got an engine over there that uh, can supply uh, running three and a half to 138 over here on the two side of the building? Yeah, 10 for us. I think it's 273 over. Yeah, I guess if their rig is on Woodhaven Boulevard, if they can grab a hydrant over there and then they can supply uh, 138, they're going to set up in the parking lot right next to the Chase Bank. All right, that's what I'll set about now. Put them up on the roof and cut a couple inspection holes. Yeah, that's cool. I've got my own at the parking lot. All right, they're going to put uh, 138 in the parking lot here. Uh. Nothing's popped out of there, but obviously, at the volume of smoke, there's still active fire in there. Okay, Harvey. Uh, battalion, three to command. <laughs> command. Trying to figure out if they're gonna back this tower ladder in. Safety command to ladder one six four bucket. I think they're moving this one to back that one in. Have you seen any smoke through the roof to the left? To the exposure two side of the fire building, that white front building. Is there any smoke? I'm mean, sorry, any fire coming through the roof of that building anywhere? Negative K, no fire. 10-4, thank you for confirming that.
got really smoky for a minute over there. Look at that. I'm all wet again. I was just getting dry from the fifth alarm in, uh, in Woodside. <laughs> Back it in. I think he's gonna back it in. Uh, he's gonna come this way and back it in, and then uh, they're gonna set it up. And they're bringing the line here to feed it right now. That's gonna be for the tower ladder. I think they're going to set it up right here. Uh, I thought they were going to put it in there. I mean, to me it would make a little bit more sense, but they know what they're doing. Uh, so they can hit it closer. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if they, when they raise it, all these wires, and are they going to go above it? Or are they going to go underneath it? In the meantime, look at that back there going on whatever's in there it's rolling I think if we back the tower ladder in to this parking lot and we operate over the uh, garage. Yeah, that's the parking lot. You're talking about the parking lot between the daycare and the chase, right? Yeah. Yeah, on the exposure tree side, in the back. Yeah, yeah, that's what I that's said. Garage is in the back. If we can get a towel rider back in. <laughs> the, the chief is going up. It's very rare you see them go up like that. Two seven three and two seven three chauffeur. Two seven three chauffeur. Don't cross that line yet. You might be, uh, I don't think you're going to be moving the rig or not. 273 show for 10-4. All right. Battalion 3 to come in. Come in. Yes, it's Dorian Avenue. Uh, yeah, Dorian Avenue. They come in. Uh, they come in from Woodhaven or they come the other way. We just got to move 314. 
All right, Danny, where are you right now? I'm, uh, I'm on the two, three corner on Doran Avenue. I'm behind the, I'm on the, uh, in the back of the Chase Bank. Box 4681, address 89-40, Metropolitan Avenue, Mobley Avenue, Cooper Avenue, fire in a uh, auto parts store. Fourth alarm has been transmitted for Box 4681, address 89-40, Metropolitan Avenue, Mobley Avenue, Cooper Avenue, for fire in a auto parts store. And just as I said before, fourth alarm. Uh, the main body of fire is back here now. They're going to get this tower ladder in. They're repositioning it because they set it up there. And uh, the chief said no, bring it into the lot. And so they're going to... They're going to reposition it. And uh, try to get that last heavy pocket of fire out burning there for quite a while it hasn't shown its face but it's there okay and the, the oil pots are hitting a uh, lot of fire they put out a lot a tremendous amount of fire then uh, did they have the holes cut on the uh, over the daycare uh, i haven't heard from 138 yet command to uh 138 roof one three roof. Cut in the uh in a three four corner. Uh just white uh white smoke coming out right now. Ten four. Okay. Come in. I'd like to reposition another line inside the daycare. We got access to the whole back of the taxpayer from a closet in the daycare. Ten four. Is two ninety nine operating with you? Two ninety nine. Thank you. I can take that line and bring it inside. Ten four. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> they went in. They cut up an inspection hole there. White smoke coming out of that. In the back here, those lines that you saw being stretched, uh, they managed to get into what was the daycare here, and they went in through the back into a closet and they're hitting heavy fire and knocking down some good amount of fire in the auto um in the auto uh store so that's what's going on see the front is all clear right now they still have the multiversal and one tower ladder pushing some heavy water in there and now these guys got in here in the back and they're doing great they're making great progress they should be able to send the boom and get a good shot at it all right perfect we got a good shot at the fire from the daycare so we're gonna open it up we should be able to knock down the rest of this fire all right that would be outstanding all right so they're repositioning the lines they're gonna move one more line in uh I don't think... Queens to engine 294. 294 from quarters. Well, you are to respond to the staging area, Woodhaven Boulevard and Metropolitan, in the Bob's Furniture parking lot. 312 
What did I move the command? What did I move to battalion three? One three at the roof. Fred, what you got? Hey, Lou, uh, we, there's an uh, I-beam that stands from the two to the four side. Uh, we have made an inspection hole and it is fired. Uh, I can't tell if it's in, a, in the actual cop but it's fire running along that I-beam. Alright, Sergeant, what's the uh, Come to the two sides and show me exactly where you are. Command. Command. Okay, I'm at the wall between the, between the daycare and the other part of the store. We got it all opened up with this uh, the main body of fire now. 10-4. Alright, we're gonna hang around a little bit long and then we're gonna be taking up from here. I gotta get some type of sleep and some food. And good work by these uh, members. Uh, they're trying every angle possible and they're getting it. Smoke is uh, lightening them nicely. And especially uh, the, the members back here that cut up that whole fence and everything and ran those three lines through, through the back there. Uh, even though everyone else did a terrific job and stuff like that, when that fire got into this corner, it just kept burning for quite a long time and it's still burning. But they managed to get it those three lines in there and make some good headway. Now they're gonna get this tower up and probably shoot right into it. They're gonna have to remove the members, of course. Just show you a little bit on the other side. There's the chief, he's coming down. They're bringing all the members this way. A large contingency of them. So they could work back there. Not a large contingency, a truck, but you know what I mean. Uh, they're getting the tower ladder. It's almost ready to go. They're going to uh, charge the line soon. Step back. Ten four. One three eight pocket. Did you get get that? Chief, repeat. Yeah, so you're gonna operate into that um the portion of the building that protrudes deep, deeper than the daycare. That like setback. Ten four. The more tan building, right? Ten four. All right, 10-4, we're ready for water. All right, they're ready for water. 2-3-3, show for a 1-3-8 bucket, here comes the water. 
Here comes the water. Bucket, then, You'll see the water come right in one here in the line bucket, and go up that way. One, three, eight. Yeah, Lou, I didn't get the transmission before, but that inspection cut they cut above the daycare is pushing fire now. Okay, and that means that there's fire here in the daycare center. They did that inspection hall and uh, okay, urgent. urgent. People at Duran and Woodhaven came, got a little turned around, so we're at Duran and Woodhaven. Essentially, you're fine there. We're right across the street. If you guys just stay there. Come on, go for that, Anthony. All right, I'm checking out the, the two, the soldier two wall on the on the parking line. Uh, safety pointed out the I-80 starting to push through. There's uh, an eight track system on the top. If we got fire in the top wall, we might have to rethink this strategy. Done for. Just as I was getting better. Right who's on the roof? If we actually have fire along that I-beam, because it's pushing uh, through, uh, through the I-beam on the on the two wall. Three. I was on the roof with 138. They cut the inspection hole. There is fire in the I-beam going from the tier to the four exposure along the daycare through and then into the fire building itself. We did not see any fire when we did the inspection hole just as the cock was. Just the cock was. I said, for, would, it, would it help? Could we get a line on the roof to pull that I beam down, or we just not even bother, just pull everyone out? I'm safety commander, Dan. You know what I'm going to say. Okay, Dan, that's fine. Just as it was getting better, something got a little, the bucket. A little twisted bucket. in there. Is that inspection hole? The fire coming out of it? Is that in three, four corners? That was going towards the two, three corner. Okay, that's four. Okay, I'm gonna go around the other side and see if there's any fire blowing out that way. All right, there's no fire over here, but they're still knocking down uh, some of the wall. As you see, they're giving it a lot of water. <clears throat>
Nothing is uh, worse before it gets any better. They removed everybody from the daycare center, which is now you can see from the front. So they could do the, uh, finish it off with the uh, tower ladder that they put up, but uh, hold on. Stubborn fire, very, very stubborn fire. Uh, the Chiefs are really... Uh, the Chiefs are reassessing everything because uh, about a half an hour ago they were getting this... The guys in the back did a great job with the three lines and so something got screwy back there and uh, all the Chiefs are here. One, two, three, four, five. There's another one here, six. Uh, and they're reassessing what's going on in the back of this daycare now. And there goes the smoke again. Okay guys, we're gonna start winding down this uh, video. Uh, they continue to have an issue back here with this pocket of fire. And as you can see, 
still pushing heavy dark smoke. Um, they're not operating inside, nor are they operating the uh, tower ladder. They're operating a line back here. You can see it's shooting up in the air, but they're not inside the daycare center. Uh, they're using one of these lines and they're hitting from the outside, but they're not in the daycare and they shut down the tower ladder. So um, eventually they'll get it. I just haven't had any sleep whatsoever. Um, I haven't had any real decent food, just trash. Uh, didn't get much sleep from the fifth alarm because uh, we bounced around the streets anyway after that. So, um, with that said, we're going to be taking up from here. I'm sure that they'll get this small pocket of fire within the next half hour, an hour. This has been burning for two or three hours. Uh, uh, there was only a small amount of fire visible when uh, the fire initiated. Uh, there was a, a little while of fire popping out through the top of the other building. But um, yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, okay, uh, with that said, two and two, we're going to see you all on the other side. Sorry, Commander, one two zero by seven five. At this time, call fifteen. This is Chief Correo reports that he has removed all members from the exposure, which would be the 2-3 uh, corner, uh, the daycare, all members have been removed from that area. Continue to operate with three tower ladders and three multiversials. Collapse zone set up. We are remaining south located. Okay, Phil, Phil, Cobb, report was 0938 hours. Duration is three hours and 33 minutes. Careful. Dispatcher 356. One story commercial, 120 by 75. At this time, Assistant Chief Correo, call 15 reports. That primary and secondary searches in exposure 2 are complete negatives. A visual search of the fire building from the means of, from the confines of safety have been conducted and is proved negative. We're remaining at probably will hold that. Time of that report was 1143 hours. Duration is 5 hours and 38 minutes. Seven.